Hi, I'm Shelly Wood. You might know me from ShellyWood.com. This is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little hooded raincoat with piping, tiny buttons, and a cute cotton fabric for a lining. It should fit most of your 14 inch to 17 inch dolls that's 35 to 43 centimeters tall, like the Hearts for Hearts girls and similar sized dolls. Before we begin, please go to Shellywood.com to download these three free printable sewing patterns. Use the patterns to cut out four sleeves, two backs, four fronts, and these six hood pieces. You will also need some piping. I'm using half inch wide piping that's 12.7 millimeters. Place the piping along the front closure area of one of your front lining fabrics and cut it. Stitch the piping to the lining. You want to keep the thick part of the piping opposite the raw edge of fabric. So you'll see me sewing it here. Follow these steps for both front linings. Stitch close to the thick part of the piping. You'll hear me say that throughout the video. In this image, my stitches are blue. Measure and cut piping for your sleeves. Attach the piping to the sleeves lining. And once again, stitch really close to that thick part of the piping. You want those stitches as close as you can get them to the thick part of the piping. Do this for both sleeve linings. Now we're going to work with the hood for a little bit. Align the gusset lining piece with one of the hood's lining pieces so the hoods are rounder and then stitch them together from the top to the neck and you'll see me doing that here. So I start at the top, I go around, it is tricky to make it around the corners like that. Clip the seams. Here's a quick video showing me clipping those seams. Now when I designed this pattern I made the gusset a wee bit too long on purpose. And that's because it's really hard to maintain seam allowances when you're going around corners and curved edges. So I just gave you a little extra room. But we'll trim off any extra gusset material at the neck before we're done. Now you want to attach the other side of the hood following the opposite round area of the hood. So you do it just like we did before but the other side of the hood and you see me doing that here. Clip all these seams. Here's how the lining looks so far on the hood. So I'm just going to kind of lift it up, turn it around so you can see how mine looks. And you can see that extra flap of gusset. We want that. You might not have as much as me if you're struggling to get around corners. That's why I made that gusset extra long. Follow the same steps to create the outer part of the hood itself. So we lay the gusset over the top of the round part of the hood and then we sew it. And again, it's tricky to keep those seam allowances at 1 4th inch, but you want to do your best. And I'm sorry I'm a little backwards in the way I sew this, but that's because I make doll clothes. So I'm kind of on the wrong side of the sewing machine. Okay, clipping those seams. Now you have two hoods, a lining and its mate. Attach piping to the lining 
along the front and you're going to begin at the neckline, sew along the gusset's raw edge and down the other side of the hood's opening. So when you sew this, you're framing the doll's face with the piping. Think of it that way, it might help you figure out how to sew that on there. Always stitch close to the piping's thick side. Encase the lining inside the outer hood, keeping right sides together. So you can see that's the lining and it's got the piping on it and then I've got my outer hood sort of inside out and I slide the lining inside. And you want to really tuck that piping in tight. You can see me tucking the piping in. Stitch them together following the edge of the piping. Again, as close to the thick part of the piping as you can get. Now some sewing machines also have a special foot designed to help you sew piping accurately. It can help to follow the seams along the lining where you can already see stitching. Clip your seams cutting through the piping's thin side. You don't want to cut through the thick part of the piping. Opening at the neck, you're going to invert the hood and you can see me doing that here so we can see the pretty side of both lining and outer hood. Now you can see the piping really pop out. Now we're going to work with our sleeves again. Lay the outer sleeve over the top of the lining and you can see the lining has piping on it. So here we are laying the outer sleeve over the top and the piping is where I touched it with my finger. Stitch along this straight edge following the thick end of the piping. You don't want to cross over the thick edge. Just make sure that you're right along the edge of the piping. Open the sleeve up. Fold it back so the piping's at the bottom. And press that seam. Follow these directions for both of your sleeves. Set one of the outer coat fronts against the outer coat back. Just like you see me doing here. Stitch these together at the shoulder. And these shoulders may seem a little wonky or crooked, but it has to do with how the hood fits. Follow the same steps for the other front. So you're going to lay it on top and then stitch that shoulder seam, just the shoulder seam. And back and forth really helps it stir, make a sturdy stitch. Press your shoulder seams. Attach lining fronts to lining back, making sure the right sides are facing each other. Stitch them together at the shoulder on both sides. So again, you're seeing me do that. I like a back and forth stitch to really make those shoulder seams sturdy. The lining now looks like this and there's a little bit of overlap. Open the lining up and press shoulder seams. Flip it over so you can see the right side. Set the hood on top of the back with right sides facing. We're just looking at the lining now and carefully pin it to the lining. Now I'm going to show you how that looks. Okay, so you can see we're just working with lining here and the hood. There's still probably a bit too much fabric in the gusset, but that's okay. We'll get to that. Stitch the hood to the lining with a straight line because remember, we'll cut that excess gusset off. Okay, so you can see I'm kind of keeping that line as straight as can be. Now you're ready to cut away the extra gusset fabric, if you have any. And there I am cutting away any extra gusset. Fold the hood back and sandwich it between the outer coat piece and the lining. Here's a little video to show you what I mean. So you're going to fold the hood, press it in 
with your fingers and then lay the outer fabric on top and you want them to have right sides facing. Stitch across the neck. In these images the blue stitches are where I worked with the lining and the pink is my new stitching. Be sure to line up shoulder seams as you stitch. So this shoulder seam should line up and match with this one exactly. Carefully stitch these together. You want those seams to match. And as your stitches come to the front placket where it kind of overlaps on the jacket, turn the corner and stitch along the piping. Remember to keep your stitches as close to the thick part of the piping as you can get without overlapping the piping. When you reach the bottom of the front part of the garment, you're going to turn and continue to stitch, giving it a one and a half centimeter seam allowance at the bottom of the front. Now you'll sew until you reach the side seam area and then stop. Just like we did with the gusset, this extra wide hem allows room for a margin of error. You could sew these stitches from the lining side, which may give you a little better feel for the piping. Either way, follow these steps for both fronts. Now here I'm showing you what it looks like so far and you can see that the middle piece, the back, is not attached to anything but the hood. And your fronts have a little bit of hem at the bottom and a placket. Clip and invert the neck, the placket, and the front. I've got it in quotes, hem, because it's not really a hem, it's just a seam. And here I am inverting and now here's how it looks. You can kind of see the front placket. Give all your seams a good press at this point with your hot iron. Even the piping edges around the hood need to be pressed. Lay one of your sleeves against the garment, keeping right sides together. And stitch from the underarm almost to the shoulder seam. Here you'll see stitching from the underarm. It's almost two, it's like one centimeter from the shoulder seam where I stop. Now wrap the top of the sleeve around until the edge of the top of the sleeve meets the other underarm and begin sewing from there. Once again, you're going to stop when you're about a centimeter from the shoulder seam. So you stitch from the underarm to shy of the seam once again. The sleeve is now partly attached except at the very top of the sleeve where you stop stitching early. Gather the fabric at the top of the sleeve. Here I am showing you the gather. So I'm gathering the top of the sleeve and then you're going to attach it. Once it fits nicely against the shoulder area, you've got those gathers so it all matches up nicely, attach the sleeve top at the shoulder. And here I am doing that. I'm making some attachment stitches that go clear through to the other side. Gathering will create a nice fit. Now that you have this sleeve attached, follow the same steps for the other sleeve. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to show you all the steps in one quick clip. So here I am preparing my sleeve. I've got it up against that underarm. I stitch from underarm to one centimeter shy of the shoulder seam. I cut my thread. I wrap it around and I sew once again from the underarm to one centimeter shy of the shoulder seam. Now there's an opening. At the opening, I gather the sleeve to make sure it has a perfect fit against that shoulder seam. Once I've got the perfect fit, then I attach it. 
Now your garment should look like this. And here it is from the outside. Fold one sleeve in half like you see me doing right here. So I take that front placket and fold it. And then stitch from the sleeve's edge to the underarm. And then you turn a corner and stitch down from the underarm. But once again, we're going to stop sewing well before you reach the bottom of the placket. So give it about five centimeters or two inches of unsewn area. And then fold the other sleeve in half and stitch it the same way from the piping to the underarm and then from the underarm down stopping shy of the end. Once again you're going to stop sewing about five centimeters from the back's raw edge. Now at the bottom of the garment's back where we still have a raw edge you're going to fold the fabric's raw edge inside the garment and here I am doing that you can see I fold in both the lining and the outer garment so that it matches up with the placket front side. Use a whip stitch to close off this raw edge. Now you still have some seams on either side that need to be sewn shut. So you'll want to sew those. Once you finish both side seams, then you clip the seams, especially at the underarms, and invert the whole garment. Here I am inverting. I use a chopstick to help with that. It's starting to look like a jacket now. We're going to attach soft Velcro to the placket. Here I am sewing my Velcro on. You want to make the... Um, when you attach the Velcro to the lining like this, you want to make sure your seams look pretty because they are a top stitching. And of course, top stitching is seen from the outside. Once the Velcro has been sewn on, use that top stitching to guide you as you attach pairs of buttons to the front. I think mine are about a centimeter and a half apart. Okay, let's try this jacket on a doll. For more free printable sewing patterns, for dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos and my free patterns, please share them on your favorite social media platforms. It really helps my website grow if you spread the word. Goodbye.